Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will prepare backend dependencies for our Mern app. I have VS Code open and I have created a folder on my desktop with the name Mern Auth. Okay, so this is the folder which I have created, Mern hyphen Auth. Right now it is empty. Okay, so let's go to VS Code and we need to open the terminal. So I'll press Control and Backtick key to open the terminal. You can open it by clicking terminal new terminal also okay or else you can do control and back tick key so the folder is on my desktop so i'll do cd desktop okay now i need to go inside the folder so cd mern auth this is my folder name okay now i am inside the folder we also need node.js installed in our machine if you don't have node.js just go to google and type node.js so this is the first link just click on it and you need to install this LTS version okay I have already installed in my machine once installed you can check it in the terminal by typing node space hyphen hyphen version so mine is 14.15.3 and then you can also check npm version by typing npm hyphen hyphen version okay so it is 6.14.9 okay let me clear this so now we will initialize node package so we need to type npm init hyphen y and press enter okay so a package.json file has been created so let's open our folder so click on open and desktop then we have mern auth open Okay, so let me open the package.json file. So we will change the values later in this course. Uh, for now, let's install the dependencies. So let's go to terminal again. So control and back tick key. Okay. And here I will type npm install. The first package is bycrypt.js. Okay. So bycrypt.js is a package that helps us to hash password. So we can safely store password in our database. Then we have config. So config is a package that allows us to define a set of default parameters and even extend them for different deployment environments like development, staging, QA, and so on. Then we have Express. This is going to be our backend server, and we also have Express Validator. So Express Validator. Now Express Validator is a set of Express JS middleware that allows us to create a validation chain for input field. And we will see that in action later. Then we have Jest. So Jest is a JavaScript unit testing framework that is really simple to configure and use. Jest is one of the most popular unit testing framework. In fact, we can use it to test both front end and back end. And Jest is so popular with React that it comes bundled with Create React app. Then we have JSON Web Token. So JSON Web Token is a package that allows us to generate, decode, and verify JSON Web Tokens, which essentially act as a credential that can be that can subsequently provide access to resources for our users. And then we have Mongoose. Mongoose is a wrapper for interacting with MongoDB. Okay. Now, if I want to suppress the deprecation warning and warning from not having a repository URL set up in my package.json. I can specify hyphen hyphen log level equals to error okay and that will show only errors however it is good practice to see what you are getting as deprecation warning and so on so that you can take care of problems beforehand if they are severe enough so I'll remove this we want to see the deprecation warnings okay now let's press enter So getting some error, let's do it again. Okay, so npm install bcrypt.js config express express validator just json web token and mongoose. Okay, let's press enter. Okay, now it is working fine. Okay. 
okay so we are getting some deprecation warning so just ignore it it won't affect our application now we will install development dependencies so let me clear this out so clear and i will install development dependencies so npm install and then we will do hyphen d okay then we can use on currently so con currently a tool that allows us to run multiple commands concurrently to start both front end and back end while we are developing both and then we have nodemon so nodemon monitors for changes and restart the server so we don't have to worry about doing that every time we make a change okay now let's press enter so these two are the development dependencies So here, as you can see, these are the development dependencies concurrently and node mod. Okay. Now we will modify this package.json file. Okay. So let me close this. So name will be mon auth. Okay. If you want to change the name, you can change it. Description I will do mon app to learn authentication. Okay. So we are not going to have index.js as our main entry point. We are going to have server.js. So let's remove this index and do server.js. Okay. And then we will create the script right away. So that's going to be server. So just remove the test and do server. And the server script will use nodemon. Okay. So I specify nodemon in the script. And finally, in the author, I will do tech academy okay so let's save this file and we are good to go so we have installed all the dependencies for the project now in the next video i will create the server.js file and we will create the express app okay so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye